online classes every single student knows that these are not much useful and also they are not effective on studies but you know attendance is important so why don't we just create a python bot to automate our online classes and fill our attendance so let's get started so since we have downloaded it opened up the whole thing and you can see here its original maths lecture for my class and it it says class starts 9 20 pm so okay. So guys, let's start constructing it. So first things first, we will discuss the requirements that you will require to create that bot. So first off, let's quickly recap that what we do as humans to join online classes. So first, we know our timetable that what uh, we have classes on what times and then we have all the links and we join classes on the time. So that's what we are going to replicate here. So first off, for starting, you need to create info.py and just use a weekly timetable that you get from your school and enter all the classes, maybe 10, uh, 10 to 5 minutes later, like uh, my classes starts from 8.25, around, around 8.25 to 8.30, so I have added 8.30 and so on you need to add first class second class third class fourth class fifth class and this is the just dummy class that i was testing out so just ignore this and just add how whatever classes you have according to timeline now we need to add links so that's just that explains it that we need to add links english link maths link and you can see these are all zoom links to be noted that because this app will be specifically created for zoom but you can do small customizations and it will run on ms uh, teams and google meet so i have also made a comment here so once you have added this information in info.py that all the information you need links and timings you need to create a main.py so what is with main.py first off importing date and time so this is a very serious thing because your program needs to know what day, what date it is and what day specifically it is and time. So yes, time. And then we have Selenium to automate our web browser. If you haven't seen tutorials on Selenium, you can watch my other videos based on Selenium. So we will using Selenium for web analyzing and web automation, then import join link and I will talk about it later. So just starting out Selenium here and I will not talk about it very much. Uh, just starting Chrome driver exe and to use Selenium you have to have a Chrome driver exe or if you have Firefox it, uh, they also give drivers and I will link all the popular browsers drivers in description. So go check the description out. Now here we have our date and time. So check what date it is and once you have date entered here and if I print uh, for your convention I may print the date here wait a second here we go and now the days date and time library prints is as dot sunday dot uh, like dot m o n for monday dot t u e as I have listed here and now we need to give all the document uh, all the dates a uh, method to call so if day is monday if day is m o n monday then use monday if day is tuesday and uh, use tuesday and so on and so on and on sunday it will not do anything it will just say it's sunday so this is some basic stuff until now and this is very basic stuff you know and everyone can do it so now we will get into the difficult part so you can see here on monday we will call monday uh, is function so what's monday's function so we will replicate here what we do on our monday we wake uh, we see the time we wake up see the time and just join according to the monday timetable so here is the lot of things uh, as i said i will talk uh, about import dot join later because it's a uh, a more advanced function i can say import link okay i'm sorry i uh, here it will be import info yes exactly yes so import info so take everything from here 
every date and time links etc from here and now define monday so here's the tricky part so we are using a library called schedule so i'm uh, i may add schedule here so you can add schedule by just doing import i'm sorry for my mistakes import schedule or whatever it is just write it here yeah so schedule so once we have imported schedule we can use our program like an alarm clock so what alarm clock does is you know on every it runs continuously and it checks for whether it is time to um, uh, give alarm call or not so that's what we are using alarm module schedule and if it's monday if it's monday come to monday's function and then schedule every monday okay so if you are not able to see this schedule every monday at first class so what is first class is this timing 8:30 and on every monday join first class do english dot do task join english so you need to customize it according to your classes and your uh, timetable so if you have first period english then you can go with english maths biology and physics these are just dummy classes i don't have actual like that so just customize your own subjects according to these and to be noted that this is only uh, this is a tutorial for the uh, this app i have made and you can surely take this code and compile and do your own things and the code will be available in description and go check description and just uh, you need to copy for every classes schedule first class then you need to schedule every monday second class second class timing will be here second class 9 10 and then just do join maths and for uh, so on and so on and so on until fifth class join chemistry so you can see it's fifth class here at 11:15 and chemistry link is here so you need to repeat every uh, function for this for every single day every period is every single line of code so if you have per day 7 to 8 classes you need to add 7 to 8 lines of scheduling and then this is a just dummy function that i used and now here while true means run until it's true and it's an infinite loop schedule run pending means uh, whatever the task here schedule is run it and it's pending and check it every uh, every 1 minute so it's seconds to be noted that i will add just seconds here so every minute just check whether it is the time or not so it will check every single minute of um, the clock you can see it's 7 when i'm recording it so you can see here uh, 7 it's 7 and when i'm recording it so it, on 8:30 it will join a class well python uses 24 hour clock so if you need to join a class at 1 so you need to go with 13 like that so it uses 20, uh, 24 format a uh, 24 hour format or it will be very confusing so for every single day you need to make every single line of code here and every 60 seconds the program will check itself whether it's time or not and once the time is hit once first class time 8:30 is hit it will join the class and how it will join the class so let's go into join.py so you can see here join english comes from here so what to do when i say join english so this is the tricky part and this is the part you need to customize if you need to make changes for like microsoft teams or uh, all other apps it is specifically made for zoom you can change it to micro, uh, google meet etc so here you will need selenium knowledge so watch selenium videos and selenium tutorials surely because these are all selenium commands so driver dot get means selenium get english and what is english how you selenium will get english so it will call english from here this link so it is saying that selenium browser open my english class and once it is open take time one min for one minute 
in case anything is being loaded or in, um, uh, page is completely loaded wait for one minute to load completely load the page and all the functions so our program doesn't break now use alert driver and switch to alert so when i use if uh, let me show you an example if it runs okay i will just say it verbally whenever you need uh, you join a class with link on zoom it uh, pops up an alert message on browser and says whether you want to join this or not using zoom cloud uh, zoom client so you need to have zoom client or you can see here i have zoom client enabled or installed and once uh, and zoom um, meeting will zoom client will take care of sign in and info so you don't need to make the sign in commands or anything else and once you have zoom client installed and set up you need just to sign in and you need to just copy same code and sleep time dot sleep is wait a minute yes so driver switch to alert is uh, switch to alert that alert popped up or switch to pop up accept the pop up yes i want to join the class wait for one uh, 1800 seconds which is equals to 30 minutes and then driver dot quit means close everything so this is performed specifically for exiting the class if you uh, want uh, if class is completed within 30 minutes or 1800 seconds just quit it now same for join physics so driver dot get uh, phy and here you can find phy okay i'm really sorry it will not be phy it will be completely physics wait a second yes it will be physics here and followed by the same code same 30 minutes and all the same codes uh, join biology and there there is a dummy function once you have created or downloaded all these files from my github page i will give the link in description you need to run main.py so let me quickly just save everything so it doesn't break and here we go and let me run it we will go with env so guys my Visual Studio Code's PowerShell just broke and I don't know why and it's just during recording. So I'm sticking with this command old command prompt. Now well it does the task. I will run main.py here and let's see what happens. Okay. So I have trimmed some time and let's see what happens. So it says your download should start let's see okay so since we have downloaded it opened up the whole thing and you can see here its original maths lecture for my class and it it says class starts 9 20 pm so okay no problem so that's the end of this video thanks for watching till end and make sure you like and subscribe this video and i will make some new things on the way thanks for watching